Hello champions, so I said I was going to do my 3 star bronze preview with Pete Dunn and we're going to do that just now. So this is my own Pete Dunn. I bought the 100 box offer to get him at 3 star. I maxed it during my tan up. All the moves are maxed, levels are maxed. I can even make him 3 star silver, but I wanted to record this at 3 star bronze before I do so. So we're going to do this. If you watched my five star bronze preview and you didn't like Pete Dunn, so basically if you had eyes and ears, uh, this what I would expect is probably not go any better because we're going to be even more limited in options. So we're going to have a look, but I suspect this ain't going to pan out too good. So first move set we're gonna have a look at is the bitter end 11 MP green move finisher deals 15.8k damage and destroys six random silence gems and pin the opponent the sit out power bomb 8 MP black move deals 7.8k damage and make three random gems into silence gems and the German suplex 8 MP black move deal 7.5k damage and choose two green gems to destroy. Trainers will be using for that Bray to start with more black, Cesaro to begin with seven uh, to choose seven green gem to destroy instead, and we're gonna have Elias here as a coach. Now, obviously, I'm trying to go with more uh, commonly used trainers. Uh, I would normally put there like, well, for my own gameplay, I'm likely gonna be putting uh, N.W. Ogan instead, but. It is definitely not a common character. I mean, even Elias to an extent is not that common. He's definitely not that rare, but he's definitely not common either. Like probably middle of those two, like uncommon, I guess. Uh, Cesaro instead, you could be making more Silent Gem, which I believe is Ambrose Shield, I think. Uh, wouldn't really recommend to destroy more Silent Gem because you're unlikely to have it. You could even replace Bray with uh, Ambrose instead to generate more silence. Uh, but then you might have some issue to get things going. Basically, I mean, this moveset works, but you're kind of missing a trainer slot to make it worth your while. So we'll see. We're going to be facing Bray, who at 3 star was actually a very damn good character back then. So uh, we are going to go definitely like I would say at 3 star bronze, Bray is a much better character than Pete is. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, Pete. All right, let's do this. So we got our black here. Forgot to show you the perks. Although I don't have any tour perks right now, so. Uh, so let's uh, choose seven greens to destroy. Okay. Three random there. For the bitter end. But is it enough to defeat Wyatt here? Take those out and well I'll be damned. This went a hell of a lot better than I expected. I didn't see a move flow there. I expected it wouldn't be enough. But I did, like, I'm, I'm not used to play with like three star characters at three star level. So I definitely forgot the lack of health at that level. So, okay, he's doing much better than I thought he would. I did not expect this would go this smoothly. I mean, this was ridiculously easy. So, shocked. All right, let's uh, try something else. All right, second move set we're going to have a look at. Pretty similar, the differences. Instead of the finisher, we're going to be using the Vintage, which is a 9 MP green move. It deals 10.6k damage and make two random science gems into blast gems. Now, this move set, 
as well as the one we just had a look at our boat moveset that it, you can only do at three star. You can't do them at two star. The reason for that is the German suplex right here is the three star move. So this is three star only. I don't think this is going to be as good as the finisher was. Uh, reason for that is while it does make the blast gems, it does not break them. So the chances that those are going to be somewhere that you can actually destroy are pretty slim and they're very unlikely to connect because i mean you're making two out of 49 so chances of both of them being close not in your favor that's for sure also got to keep in mind and that's one thing that i did not think when i did the previous match is that finisher does 16,000 damage while it doesn't look much at the level that we're used to play at at three star bronze that is over a third of the health. So it it is a pretty sizable uh, damage input uh, at this level, especially when you consider that the move don't really work that well together. So that move damage itself might very well be what save your ass. So to do to use this move set, we're gonna be using the exact same thing. That is Bray and Cesaro, and we do have. Uh, Elias here could be using Ray to make one more blast gems. Don't think it's going to be needed. I think your very biggest source of uh, damage here is going to be the German suplex destroying those seven greens. That's probably going to be what's do it for you. So let's do this. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Lucky with a free turn here, which is not going to be a free turn after all. I again, I'm not using this one right away because since I'm going to be converting two of them into blast gem and I'm only making three, if I use it now, I'm very likely gonna well. It's pretty likely that my turn is going to end with the next move and you don't want your turn to end with your three science gem there because there's a good chance that he's going to get rid of some of them and you won't be able to do those blast gems. So we're going to use this first and get the, the green right there. Although the bar is kind of to the left, so I may not uh, have an early pin with this. No, yeah, I did. And I expected I would. All right, now we're gonna be doing, like I said, the three silence gem. Two of them are gonna be converted. I hope that the yellow is, because that's the only one I can match. And of course it wasn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, bring this down. And now we can break. Let's over. This obviously worked, as we can see. Did not lose that much health. Definitely like the first one much better. This one definitely is a wild card. If none of those landed anywhere you could connect, or it didn't on the following turn, you would pretty much be dead in the water without any way to get a pin unless you get some cave, some kind of cascade or anything. I definitely like the finisher better, and it's like 16k damage, considering the L that they have, much rarer. Well, let's, uh, let's look at something else, maybe something you can do at 2-star. All right, another move set. This one is one that you can do starting at 2-star. Uh, two star bronze that is it is the bitter end 11 mp green move finisher deals 15.8k damage 
destroy six random silence gem and pin the opponent set out power bomb eight mp black move deal 7.8k damage and make three random gems into silence gem the vintage nine mp green move deal 10.6k damage and make two random silence gems into blast gems so again could use this move set at two star obviously would be into lower values than what those are right now because this is at three star bronze also, you all got to keep in mind, at two-star, you do not have two trainers and one coach. You basically only have one trainer, I think. I think you you don't have the second trainer, you don't have the coach. But anyway, at two-star, there's barely any characters in the game that have moveset that works well. At that point, it's really all about move damage, gem damage, you're out. Just keep a finisher, and that'll basically save your ass on most fights. So... Uh, trainers for this at three star bronze is going to be brave to start with that black ready uh, or close to ready uh, and we're going to have also shield ambrose to generate more silence gem and for coach i put in triple h here to help with the, the uh, green the reason i went with bray instead of uh, getting steel in there is if i get both those green ready i can't do anything with them other than move damage because uh, they both need silence gem to feed off from and this is created by the black so that's what i'll be uh, using although that finisher cost 11 so that mean i'm gonna need quite a few uh, green match to get this going so i think the previous set was better because it could load the green but if you're at two star we'll see how this could go for you Two star, I would suspect that it really doesn't matter what the moon do. It's all about just probably put steel, get the damage from the moves, and just hit the finisher because the finisher alone is going to end it. But we don't have any black. We don't have any greens, unfortunately. So, uh... Yeah. Guess we'll take this. Small cascade. Uh, my black is ready i'm not gonna use it right away because again i want those silence gem to remain on the board all right so i'll make him two of them are gonna convert i don't know if one of them is gonna land on something i can use it doesn't we can, however, get our green right here. Now we can hit the finisher. That's going to do basically 16k and destroy six of them. That should be close to what he has in elf. Probably not at all, though. We did have a little cascade. That might be enough to get the win. It was. So again... None of that was really much thanks to what the move actually does. It was pretty much more to the damage of the finisher. Alright, let's have a look at the final spec. Alright, we're gonna have a look at a final move set. This is going to be the basic one, which is a green one, black one, blue one. This moveset is really more about just get anything going. Not much works well together, kind of does. Uh, so it's the Bitter End 11 MP green move. Finisher deals 15.8k damage and destroys 6 random silence gems and pin the opponent. The Sit Out Power Bomb 8 MP black move deals 7.8k damage and make 3 random gems into silence gem. And the X Plex 6 MP blue move deal 3.8k damage and swap a 3x1 random area into black gems. So again, this could be done at one star. It is the starting three moves. Trainers will be using Lawler to get that x -Plex going faster. Ambrose to make more Sans Gem. And I left uh, DX uh, uh, Triple H there. You could use Steel. 
I, you could use Bray. Uh, I'd say Bray or Lawler are probably your best option because still, again, there's no point in destroying Silence Gem if you haven't put them with the black first. Technically, the blue fills the black. The black doesn't fill anything, but it creates the gems you need for the green. So kind of need to set them up in that order. Uh, if you are two star or one star and you can only have one trainer there, uh, or actually one star, I think you can't even have trainer at one star. That's been so long. But yeah, at two, at two star, you can have one trainer. I'd say definitely go Ambrose to uh, have the more silence gem up. So we're going to have a look at this. Also, I forgot to show you every time before the buffs that I add on. Those are the 15% more health and the gems do 15% more damage. That's the uh, feud buff. All color moves start with two more move points. That is the buff for Pete Dunn this month. He won't have that after this month. It is a pretty sizable buff in this case. Uh, take 10% less damage from all color move. That's always on as a standard one. And there's no, I don't have any perks on or anything. So, all right, let's do this. This time we're going to go versus uh, HBK, uh, which is a little higher than we are by 100. So nothing significant. Right, so it starts charge even though it's six because of his current buff that makes him start with seven total with the trainer. Otherwise, it would be at three like the others are. It would be at at five, I mean. The others are three thanks to that buff as well. This will give us three black or four if it matches with something. Did not. We don't have anything else. Now, ideally, we would want to go either for a black match or a green match. We don't have that, so we're going to go for blue. Might get a free turn right there. We did. That means our black is ready. We're going to make those eight silence. We're gonna have our blue regardless next turn. Let's go for green, which unfortunately had me destroy one of those science gem. Now we'll be able to make three more black. And next turn we'll be able to use the finisher. Can't get any black. I can start reloading the blue, but that's gonna cost me Science Gem, but what the hell? Alright, now we can do this. I don't think it's gonna take all his health. He's probably gonna have like five or six K left, I would expect. 4.3. That's enough. It worked. I mean, we obviously didn't have a favorable board by any mean, apart from that one extra turn we got from a five match. But other than that, nothing was working for us. But again, at that level, really almost anything will work just from the move damage and the gem damage itself. I think that pretty much covered all his moves. Let me just double check. Yeah, we pretty much covered all the moves there. So that is it for Pete Dunn, the Bruiserweight at 3 Star Bronze. So he actually did a lot better than I expected he would. Like, really didn't have a great experience with him at 5 Star. At 3 Star, definitely gets the job done. But uh, yeah, probably not a guy you're going to want to bring all the way up. Uh, although he does, I mean, his main purpose this month is definitely going to be so that you can use him for everything that's going to require him all month. 
and uh, also to get points toward the event as well because he does give uh, he, he does give points for that so that's going to be his main two purpose this month but yeah he's probably going to be required in just about everything all month so if you're planning on going for walter who is an absolute beast uh well you're you're pretty much going to be forced to level him anyway so if you don't plan on going for walter or not doing much this month or skipping the month altogether then you probably don't want to burn too many resources into him so thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Gia. ciao